Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, as far as I know, I've seen all the classified briefings that the State Department has shown us on the issue of the designation of the MEK. I've read everything that's come to our attention about the designation. I am not convinced that the MEK ought to stay on the foreign terrorist organization by the United States. Ambassador, you alluded to another classified briefing. Is there more information that this committee hasn't seen regarding why the MEK is still on the designation? Uh, is there recent information, or, uh, or is there just what are you what are you talking about that there's a, you'll furnish another classified briefing on the issue? Uh, my reference to a classified briefing was to uh, the chairman's question about the events of last April and the questions he raised in his letter to Secretary Clinton. It was not my offer was not with respect to the FTO issue. Okay, uh, I, I wanted to be clear on that because yes, sir, th there is no more information as far as you know. The State Department has furnished all that information to us either here or in classified briefings. Is, is that correct? Sir, I'd be happy to take that question back, but they are they are looking at it actively now. So there is more information. I'd be happy to take that back. What does that mean? I'd be happy to take your question back and respond to you in writing. So you, you know, you won't tell me here in this hearing it, whether there is or is not more information that this committee hasn't received about the designation. What I can tell you is that they have been working on the package for some months, as you're aware, and I can't speak to every detail on what you might have been briefed on previously, but I'll be happy to take that back. Well, as far as I know, as far as information you have allowed us to see, uh, you haven't convinced you ha that the FTA, FTO designation should remain. That is the key to why we're having this problem. You, uh, we want to, these residents to be safe. They want to be able to get refugee status. They want to go to foreign countries, but foreign countries won't take them because the United States still labels them as FTOs, foreign terrorist organization. Now, my question to you, uh, Mr. Ambassador, as uh, Maliki told us, the reason he acts the way he does toward Camp Asheroff is because we, as the United States government, keep them on the FTO list. That's why he wouldn't let this committee go to Camp Asheroff. That's why he wants to have them relocated, because of our designation. That's what he says. That's what he tells us. So I would hope the State Department would reach a decision, as our European friends have, that they should be removed from the FTO list. And the delay, the delay, the delay costs lives. My question now is, April 11th, April of 2011, 36 folks in the um, Camp Asheroff were killed. Are we investigating that? Are we holding anybody accountable for that? Is the United States? We condemned the loss of life and the killings at Camp Ashraf. We have raised this repeatedly with the Iraqis. And it is out of concern for further violence that Secretary Clinton has asked me to take on this assignment. Um, with respect so are we holding anybody accountable? That's my question. Has anybody been held accountable? Has the Maliki government, the soldiers that came in using American equipment, has anybody to this date been held accountable? Are we just talking about it? We have made very clear our deep unhappiness at, that, at those killings. Well, I'm the sure that the people, excuse me, I'm sure that the people whose family members have been are present and that they were killed in Camp Asheroff are glad that we are deeply concerned. My question is, has anybody in the Iraqi government or anybody anywhere been held accountable for the deaths of those people by our government? That's all my question. By our government? I'm not aware of it. We haven't. Um, the, the concern is the deadline. People, uh, December 31st, as uh, people on this committee have, have alluded to and have stated, uh, that's the day of reckoning. Do you think that they will, in the next 24 days, we will be able to assure some kind of agreement with the Maliki government? I very much hope so, and it is our intention to work with 
Ambassador Kobler, who's got the lead, uh, to see to support 